All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to add Virtuarch ROMs to your home screen. As you can see from my Switch, I have a couple of them, and Pokemon and all that, and if you just press it, it just launches the game from Virtuarch and you're pretty much good to go. And that's it. And then today I'm just gonna show you how you can do that. So first of all, you're gonna need some ROMs. I'm not gonna tell you where to get them, but uh, I'm sure you can get yourself, get your hands on some of them. And so there's gonna be installing Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. So first of all, you gotta make a ROM folder on your Switch. Right now I'm using, I am just do I just do a GB on my main section of my SD card and I just drag and drop. That's gonna take some time. and. We're just gonna be using the menu. The one, if you've seen my pre previous video about this, you should know how to set it up already. You should have your title and prod, your dev keys. You should have your keys on your menu folder already, and you should have um, copy the control and SP and ACP. And I'm just gonna link the article from GBA10 that shows you how to set it up. But um, yeah, you should have everything set up already, and we're good to go here. And I'm just gonna copy and paste the name there you go author by Chris title ID I just usually click, click random on this because it really doesn't matter an icon path you just you can find yourself some box art and you're just gonna be use, you just basically use this as a box art it doesn't look that good on the switch but it does the job and logo, you don't really need a logo, and that's just if you have a custom path for it. I don't, I, I just put it on there, so I don't need to do anything else. And instead of using the standard NRO, which is the homebrew method, we're just gonna be using the retro method. So we're gonna use some cores. Cores are basically what you need to run things in retro. And as you can see, in retro, it comes, comes with this um, normally. Let's go on there and you just we're just gonna be using mgba you could use whatever you want to but today we're just gonna be using mgba you could use like i know there's some like vba or something like that but you could but i usually use this one because it works fine and it's just a simple copy and paste you gotta get the file path right or else it's not gonna start up so make sure you get everything right which is why i'm copying and pasting these because if you don't get the path right then it's not gonna start because it doesn't know where to go and everything has got to be right and we're just gonna go to Kirby and also copy the file path and we're just gonna be adding it to it Perfect. so it come it does this quotation mark thing and if I were you I'd probably just take these off because it doesn't run without it so if I were you I'd probably just take these off and that's pretty much it and we're good so you get your cores set to the right place and you get the real ROMs set to the right place. Take out the quotation quotation mark because it doesn't work. And we're just gonna be creating folder and that's it. As you can see it's at the top here. And today we're gonna be using NSP Lo and we're done with this thing actually. Today we're gonna be using NS USB loader to launch it from our switch. And we're gonna be using Ten Leaf which is a fork of gold leaf which I use for installing NSPs to my switch and it's a simple one to one tuner you could and I'm not even gonna plug in my switch to my computer because I could just do this over um I could just do this over Wi-Fi and I'm probably good because the file size is not even that big. We're gonna install over um IP address and that's it. Boom and we're gonna be selecting the Kirby file and upload it as you can see it's on the switch just click and salt your SD card and we're good that is literally all you have to do as long as you have your folder set up as long as you have your control and NACPs just and as long as you have your um, keys in the right place everything should run perfectly fine and I'm probably gonna link to 
at the end of this video i'm gonna link to i'm just gonna add a video where it shows you how to get your keys but you basically just copy the lockpick rcm to your hecate uh boot folder uh payload folder and you can launch it from Akate and i'm just gonna it's just gonna show you i just made a quick video how to do it and i'm just gonna link it at the end just to show you how to do it but that's literally it you just copy those they're gonna be in the i mean here i'm gonna show actually where they're at after you after you've seen the video uh it's just gonna copy them and they're just gonna be at the switch folder actually as you can see i have the dev key prod key and the title key just copy all three of those to the menu folder and that is literally all you have to do and if you guys have a problem just leave a comment in the description down below and i'll get back to you actually so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one